Um, it's uh, it's been a journey for sure. Uh, I'm really excited to be back though, <clears throat> especially with uh, you know Coach Hamilton. He kind of started the circle, uh, so I'm glad I get to finish my college career with him. You know, in, in the circle with him. You kind of walk us through the decision process that you had. You know, when you knew that you were going to kind of sign another school to, to play with Jay. Right? What was the, the factor that led you to be KU and, and obviously the connection with Coach Hamilton? Um, I didn't know for sure until. Basically, we lost in the NIT last year when we lost our last game. Um, I sat down with Coach Keats and kind of talked about it. Um, and it was, you know, just just with all the COVID and, you know, no fans last year. My, you know, None of my family got to come to the games, you know, being six hours away. And, you know, for the free year, you know, why not get a chance to come home, come close to home so they can come watch one more year. Then I get to enjoy another year with, you know, the coach that pretty much started it all for me. Uh, so it was once I sat down and thought about it and talked about it, it was really a no brainer. Like it was a it was it was easy to see. It was hard to leave NC State, of course. Uh, you know, I had a great four years there, but you know, it, it was also a no brainer to you know make this decision for you know for myself one more year. You guys each talk about just how excited you are to get back out here. Hopefully, have you know good crowds and have a normal kind of season. Just how excited are you guys to get things going? I'll go first. <laughs> I'm I'm very excited, really. Uh, lost some guys last year, but I'm happy about the new team. Uh, but last year it wasn't at full capacity, so this year I feel like it'll be fun. It'll be better with all the fans, all the community and stuff coming out supporting us. Yeah, I think we're all excited for it. I know last year felt every game felt like an, another practice, really, um, or like a scrimmage or whatnot. So it was. I mean, it's still basketball, it's still fun, but it's you know it's it's totally different when you're you know your gym's full of fans and um, you know with the team we got you know coming in this year and you know what we're excited to do and what we think we can do this year it's going to be you know even more exciting to to have that and have the fans supporting us and backing us the whole way. Curtis, really with the team last year, uh, you know with the new pieces that have been added to this team, you just said it that you guys lost some guys. Uh, what are you starting to see in the team that you can see most in terms of uh, their contributions and what they can bring? Yeah, definitely. I feel like the guys we got now, well, we lost we lost a lot last year, but I feel like we, we got better, honestly. Uh, every position, really got uh, Jansen and Ira down low, and then Braxton and Trevor now at the, at the wing position. I feel like this team will be better, really. Brax, what do you bring to this table being one of the oldest guys uh, to ever play college basketball? <laughs> Yeah, that definitely helps. Um, you know, Coach Coach Hamilton, Coach under Coach Keats, play for Coach Keats. You know, they have a strong relationship, and that's what helped lead me to NC State to begin with. You know, after playing two years of Hargrave with Coach Hamilton. So the last four years, I've played in a similar system. You know, fast pace, up and down, guard full court. Um, so I think it I think it helps. That I have already had four years of experience in that. Which I mean, these guys know this system you know better than I do. You know, obviously his is different. You know, he has different tactics and whatnot. Um, but I think it helps that, like you said, I'm I'm older. I've been around for a little bit longer. Um, so I think I think I can bring a little more uh, mental aspect to it in terms of you know different ways for us to win rather than just going on you know pure skill, pure you know talent, and whatnot, and learning how to how to think think the game in a different way. Because you know I, I, that's why that's why I had to learn over the last four years and. I think I can help in that aspect. Coach, how, how important is it for, you know, Braxton, uh, Jansen, you know, just having these veteran guys come here on your team who already have, uh, you know, Division One experience? Oh, it's very important because they take a lot of pressure off us because they've been there. They've been where we're trying to go. They, they've done stuff like that. So them just teaching us and letting us know how fun it is to get there, it, it, it uh, motivates us more to actually want to get there. You guys each talked about maybe what fans and what other teams might expect out of you guys. You know, what kind of style of ball are you guys going to bring out there and, and how exciting could this team be? Uh, I feel like a 
I mean, the most our slogan, the most exciting 40 minutes. So I feel like it's going to be a good 40 minutes every time we play. Um, I feel like it's going to be a lot better. So better fans. Really like, like Bracken said, the more it's, it's funner with more fans. So just want to get this thing rolling. Um, just a lot of excitement. You know, like you said, you know, our, our brand says it all. I mean, you know, it's going to be a fast-paced game. It's going to be a fun game for us to play and a fun game for the fans to watch. You know, it's going to be you know, a, lot of, a lot of energy, um, you know, really explosive, really dynamic. And, you know, just really just us out there having fun rather than just thinking about it as just a straight basketball game. We're just, you know, we're out playing a sport that we all, you know, grew up loving and playing our whole lives. So, and you'll, and you'll see that on our faces and how we play. You know, we're just, we're just out having fun together. I personally like the move, really, just to get new, play in new places, play new teams, stuff like that. So I feel like it'll be a, be a good thing with it. Yeah, we're, we're all excited for it. You know, we don't, we don't really know too much. Of, I mean, I'm sure the coaches know a lot more, obviously, about the you know the teams and the players and whatnot than we do. Um, but you know, we're excited. For, we're excited for the opportunity, like you said, it's a new conference. It's, you know, the, you know, our our goals are we, we want to come win the conference. You know, we, we don't care that. It's our first year. Like we're not worried about that. We're we're trying to win. You know, we're trying trying to cut down nets. So, if we can make that happen, you know, within the first year of being in the new conference, that'd be huge for us. And that's you know something we strive for every day. What are the main things you guys are focusing on uh, going into the season in Blue Jeans? Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, really, just being the best, the best teammate, the best leader I can be. Um, you know, being the oldest guy, being you know, probably having the most most games, most minutes logged, uh, you know, under my belt than anybody else on the team is that's something I'm trying to take a lot of pride in to, you know, bring the the older aspect to the you know to the younger guys and you know helping us however I can in in that way to you know be the best thing best team possible. Yeah, kind of like what he said, being a good teammate. Really, I feel like that's my main thing because. If I be a good teammate to Rax, he'll be a good teammate to the next person. So it'll just carry on to uh, really accomplish the goal that we're trying to get this year. Coach, you guys will already be sort of a preseason poll that came out and said that you guys were the second for for the Ace Storm. So you guys get to have a recognition off the bat in the new conference. You know, you're 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 kind of coming into this as a new guy. Um, you know, what, what's that say about uh, each of you and, and the standard that's being placed here? Uh, I miss huge, really, but I I feel like we should be number one. But honestly, I mean, I can respect it because we, we haven't really done enough to be number one yet. So, like, us being picked number two, we're going to have a lot of – we're going to have chips on our shoulders every game because they – other schools are looking at it like, oh, they just came to this conference, how they pick number two or whatever. But I feel like we should be number one. And I feel like we'll be number one at the end of it. Everybody is here for the interviews today. Kentucky ties from Louisville to Perry County, Georgetown. What does it say about this team that the majority of you guys are quote unquote local players and, and what's that mean for this university for the fan base you guys? Um, I feel like it puts on the spotlight for the Kentucky kids, really. Cause I mean, we got a lot of a lot of nice basketball players in the state of Kentucky. So I feel like us being a lot of Kentucky guys it shows the other high school kids that they can get here too, being from the state of Kentucky. Yeah, kind of the same. I mean, going off that, it always seems like players in Kentucky always get overlooked and, you know, downgraded when they shouldn't. Um, you know, some of the best players I've ever played against, and I'll, you know, I ain't going to name a lot of names, but, you know, some of the best players I've ever played against are from Kentucky, you know, and I've been all over. And, you know, for us to, you know, to put on for our state here, and have the opportunity to, you know, show out and bring recognition to, to us, to the state, to players around the state. Um, you know, we're really excited for it. I mean, that was one of the, my main factors of me coming back here, you know, try to, you know, put on for my for my state, for my area. All right, I'm going to switch these guys out to Cooper and Mo.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>